Hello there. I'm going to show you the different ways you can do transfers in the 8x8 virtual office desktop soft phone. And what I'm showing you is current as of March of 2020. In the future, as the software upgrades, it's possible that some of the things I'm doing here may change. There are basically three different types of transfers, blind, warm, and three-way. We'll start with blind because it's the easiest. Once I get my inbound call, the little ellipsis dots right here in the center of the screen, when I click on those and click transfer, I get a search box. There's about three different things I can do. I can click on company and I can either scroll to find the contact I want and then click on the appropriate action next to them, which is warm, blind, and voicemail. Or I can look at my personal contacts, which I've saved. And again, you know, when I hover over it, I've got these two different um, uh, icons. I don't have voicemail because because this is an outside external destination. Or I can simply type in the phone number. Once I type in the phone number, you'll see it appear here as, as a full you know North American dial plan style phone number. And then I can click on the appropriate action. Remember, I said we're doing blind transfers. So if you hover over these, you can see this one says warm and then this one says direct. So direct is eight by eight's term for, for a blind transfer. So I just click on that and the call is transferred. Pretty easy. Let's do it one more time in rapid succession so you can see what that looks like. I get my inbound phone call. I click on the ellipsis dots. I click on transfer. I either look up the contact and pro click the appropriate button or I type in the phone number here. So I click on uh, direct transfer and boom, it's gone. All right, there's no introduction there. So the far party doesn't know that I was getting ready to send a call to them. All right, so that's blind transfers. Now let's do warm. Warm transfers when you want to let the second party know that you're getting ready to transfer a call to them. Okay, I answer the call. I click on the ellipsis dots again. I click on transfer. And again, either type in the phone number if it's a de destination outside your organization or look up the appropriate person. So I'm gonna look up Natasha. All right, I found Natasha and I'm going to click on the warm transfer icon. So before I was using direct transfer, now I'm gonna click on the warm transfer button. All right, so it makes a call to Natasha. So right now Natasha's phone is ringing. So I answer Natasha's phone and I tell Natasha, hey, I've got Boris on the line. I'm getting to transfer him to you. Just let you know he's pretty upset. She's like, okay, no problem. And then do you see over here in the left where I've got the two different phone calls in progress? And you know, I've got Boris, the guy who called me, and I've got Natasha, the, the second person I called. There's an icon right here that allows me to finish the transfer. All right, so that little phone with the arrow over it. So as soon as I do that, now Boris and Natasha are connected to each other. All right, so that's a warm transfer. All right, but what if I go to do that transfer and Natasha says, I can't talk to that guy right now. All right, let's see what that looks like. All right, answer my phone. Okay, Boris, you wanna to talk to Natasha? No problem, one second. Click on the dots. Click on transfer, look up Natasha. I've got her right there. Click on the warm transfer key. All right, call Natasha. Hi, Natasha, I've got Boris on the line. He's pretty upset. Can you talk to him? And Natasha says, oh, no, I can't talk to that guy right now. And I'm like, okay, no problem. So all I'm going to do is just hang up the phone like this, just a regular old hang up. All right, Boris is still on hold. So I can click on the little arrow right there in the middle of his of the his face. You won't always get these faces. The reason Boris has a face there is because he's he's in my system. Um, or you can click on the little arrow here. What that does is it resumes the call. All right. So now I'm talking to Boris again. Saying, "Oh, Boris, I'm sorry. Natasha's busy right now. You know, she asked if I could take a message. So you could take a message. Now you could at this point say, Boris, do you want his her voicemail? And then I could click on the dots. I could go transfer. I could look up Natasha." like this, and then instead of doing a warm or direct, I could do transfer to voicemail. That would send Boris directly to Natasha's voicemail. All right, so that's that's uh, warm transfers. Now the, the 
third type of transfer you might do is a three-way transfer. That's a really white glove type approach where you actually take and set up a three-way conference before handing the call off to the FAR party. Let's take a look at that. All right, I answered my call and I'm going to do I'm going to set this up um, as a add call merge. So I'm not even going to use transfer. So watch this. I click here and I do add call and then I can uh, type in Natasha's name to look her up. And notice I don't have a phone icon now. I just have a plus. That's because this is an add call. This is like setting up a three way conference. All right. So I'm going to click that. And what it does is it calls Natasha. Now, the Boris is not on the line yet. All right, I got Natasha on and said, hey, Natasha, I got Boris. He's pretty upset. You know, can I bring him on the line so I can kind of explain what's going on? And she says, sure. All right, so then what I do is on the dots, I go to merge calls. All right, I know it's a little confusing. What we did first is we did add call. We got Natasha on the line, Boris is on hold. Now I'm going to merge the calls. So now they're both on the line with me. All right, and I'm explaining to Natasha, hey, I've got Boris on the line. Hi, Boris. Natasha's going to take care of you. And then if I want to leave and let those two talk to each other in private, then when I click the little red button right here, the hang up, I know this is a little unnerving. You're not going to you're not going to hang up on them. Watch this. Click that. And then it asks you, there's other people. Do you want to let them continue or do you want to end the entire call? If I click let them continue, then I'm out of the call and those two are continuing to talk to each other. All right, so that is a that is a three-way conference turned into a transfer. I'll do it one more time. Okay, Boris is calling. He wants to talk to, let's say he's not going to talk to Natasha. Let's say he's going to talk to somebody outside my organization. I need to transfer him to like some third party, but I want to stay on the line first. Okay, I'm going to do add call. All right, because it's somebody outside my organization, I can't look them up in either my contacts or the company directory. So I'm gonna simply type the phone number in or paste. I can do copy paste from like a website or something or from a directory. All right, once I've got the phone number in, it shows up like this. I click on the plus. All right, Boris goes on hold. It calls the second caller, all right. And then what I'm doing is I click the dots and choose merge. Now, Boris and the outside phone number are connected. And then if I want to let them talk together, I just say, let others continue. I do hang up and then let others continue. Okay, so I hope that helps you out. There's your three, possibly four different ways of transfer. Blind or direct, which means you just send it straight to the second party with no warning. Warm transfer, which means you alert the FAR party first before completing the transfer. Three-way conference means you have all three parties on there at the same time, and then you excuse yourself, and when you click the hang-up button, the, the, the dialogue will pop up and say, do you want to let the others continue, which you do. And then, of course, the last one is you could just simply do transfer, uh, look up the, the company contact if they're in your organization and do transfer to voicemail. So thanks for watching. Hope that helped you out.